Praud Pakot, the Arahant of Protection. Praud Pakot, whose name means protector, is highly regarded in Burma, northern Thailand, and Laos, typically known as Pra Bwa Kem. He is a benevolent deity who protects against all evils and physical harm and is an auspicious attractor of wealth. The legend said that Pra Ud Pakot practiced meditation under the sea with his great magical power. Thai Buddhists believe that Ud Pakot is still alive to this day, residing in the middle of the great ocean, with a lotus leaf on his head. His figure is seen riding a turtle because he is believed to be lives under the sea. He is ordinarily depicted in statues with his left hand holding a bowl and his right hand slightly inside and covering it. Pra Ud Pakot, a monk during the reign of Emperor Ashoka, was one of the most important monks in the times, 268-232 BC, which would equal 2268-2232 years back from today. His head lifted at an angle toward the sky or to his side. Sometimes, his image sits in a pond, a sign of virtue or a lotus flower. He is believed to be one of the most powerful monks in the pantheon of Buddhist monks, and his likeness also appears on statues and amulets. You will see his figure wearing the lotus leaf on top of his head, which has the stem pointing up like a needle, which is why they call him Prabhwa Kem. Prabhwa Kem means lotus needle in English. There are many different stories regarding his origin. According to Sanskrit legend, he was the son of a perfumer and one of the early adherents of the Buddha. Other sources mention that Pra Ud Pakot was a monk from the ancient city of Patna in India, and lived after the Buddha during the reign of Emperor Ashoka. Before the Buddha entered Nirvana, Buddha asked him to protect the Buddhist religion and the teachings of the Dhamma. He asked Pra Ud Pakot to remain alive until the coming of the Maitreya, the future Buddha. Ud Pakot is the protector against evil and the symbol of purity and virtue. These are the reasons many people worship this monk. After the Lord Buddha entered Nirvana, Emperor Ashoka converted to Buddhism and constructed countless stupas and temples to conserve the Buddha relics. The construction took several years and was disturbed by Mara, a devil king. Most monks and deities were so afraid of Mara that they did not dare to guard the construction work. The Arahant Pra Ud Pakot is highly regarded in northern Thailand. He was an Arahant who the Buddha praised for his magical powers. Two monks were sent into the sea to ask for Pra Ud Pakot's help. Ud Pakot accepted the request, he eventually conquered Mara and converted Mara to Buddhism. Emperor Ashoka is credited with remaking the Mauryan Empire from a war machine into a society of tolerance and non-violence based on Buddhism. It is said he built 48,000 Buddhist temples and pagodas across India. Wat Ud Pakot in Chiang Mai is at the corner of Chang Clan and Thapi Roads. It is a beautiful Buddhist temple with ordination halls and a white chedi. The temple was built about 130 years ago. This temple has a tradition of offering alms to Pra Ud Pakot every year. The ceremony at the temple is named Peng Pud or Midnight Alms. Peng Pud, or Midnight Alms, is held on Wednesday before the waxing moon 15, the Lana tradition derived from Burmese culture. It was a belief that the Ud Pakot, the Buddhist saint, kept the Buddhist percepts at the whirlpool. He would make almsgiving at dawn once a year. So Burmese would prepare food for the monk at night. Lana people believe Ud Pakot would transform into a novice and make almsgiving at midnight. Therefore, Lana people will prepare food for almsgiving after midnight. It is believed that whoever offers food to Ud Pakot will have good fortune. People will provide food to the monk at midnight on Wednesday, a full moon day. This tradition which is held once or many times a year is found in the upper northern part of Thailand, such as Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, Lampong, and Mehong Sorn. To make an offering to the Pra Ud Pakot. Light fragrant incense and offers fragrant flowers and perfumed water. First, recite the Buddhist sutras three times, and continue with the following traditional kata for Pra Ud Pakot, repeat it three, five, seven, or nine times. You may repeat it for more, according to your faith. Now let us chant the preliminary prayer. Before chanting to any Thai Buddhist statue or amulet. First, chant three times of this initial mantra. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddharsa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddharsa. 
นะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะอุปคุตโตจัมมหาเถโลสัมพุทธเทนะวิยากโตมาลันจักมาละพนันจักโสอิทานิมหาเถโลนมัสสิตตวาปฏิทิโตอาหังวันทามิอิทาเนวะอุปคุตตังจักมหาเถลังยังยังอุปัทาวังชาตังวิทังเสติอาเสสโตมหาลาพังพระวันตุเมอุปคุตโตจัมมหาเถโลสัมพุทธเทนะวิยากโตมาลันจักมาละพนันจักโสอิทานิมหาเถโลนมัสสิตตวาปฏิทิโตอาหังวันทามิอิทาเนวะอุปคุตตังจักมหาเถลังยังยังอุปัทธาวังชาตังวิทังเสติอาเสสโตมหาลาพังพระวันตุเมอุปคุตโตจัมมหาเถโลสัมพุทธเทนะวิยากโตมาลันจักมาละพนันจักโสอิทานิมหาเถโลนมัสสิตตวาปฏิทิโตอาหังวันทามิอิทาเนวะอุปคุตตังจักมหาเถลังยังยังอุปัทธาวังชาตังวิทังเสติอาเสสโตมหาลาพังพระวันตุเม May your prayer be blessed by His holy light always and shine upon you, and bless you with all the happiness, good fortune, and success.